Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. So today we'll talk about packet tracer. Now, this video is specially for those people who are doing BSc IT from Mumbai University. Because in BSc IT in 6th sem, you have a subject called as IT, which is Internet Technologies. And in that you have some practicals. You have exactly 10 practicals which starts with IP addressing. Then you have this ping commands. Then we have static routing then we have this dynamic routing and list goes on so we will be starting with the packet tracer which is your third practical now third fourth fifth and so on all this practical you have to do in a software called as packet tracer now packet tracer is a software from cisco in which you have you can create a network which is a virtual network not a physical network a virtual network which will be also called as simulation now think about this, Let, let's suppose you want to create a, a, a network for a small office, right? You require some machines, you require a switch to connect all this machine. Then you require a router which will route your packet outside the network or it will, it will capture the uh, packets from outside the network to your network. That means if you want to send a packet to different network or if you want to receive some packet, you require a router, right? Now, so if you, if you talk about this network, if you want to create your new setup, if you want to create your new network, you, you have to design something, right? You cannot go, you cannot go and buy those machines, you cannot buy those switch and come and then say it's not compatible, right? So you have to buy, you have to design some some network using using which you can buy things, right? You can using which you can actually implement things. So first you have to design. Now you can design a network on paper or you can use computer, right? Now you can use computer to create CAD, you know, computer aided designs. Or you can use packet tracer in which you can design and you can test that network is it working or not because we have to deal with something called as IP addressing we have to deal with networks we have to we have to configure your network in such a way that different network have security and they have their own you know their, their own autonomous system so what we have to focus here first you should know what is IP address you should know what is subnet mask you should know how to create those IP address what is network ID, not what is a default network, default IP address and your actual IP address. So we will go for some brief before starting with the third practical. Again, you uh, for this third practical, you need first practical, which is IP addressing, in which you have to deal with uh, lots of IPs. You have subnetting, you have network mask, you have to calculate the range. So once you get to that practical, you can understand what is study routing then. Okay, because that is, the full of you know calculations here we have to use software now to use this software again you have you should know what is ip addressing so we start with the basic part of ip addressing here now so if you, if you talk about ip address ip address has four optics okay so you have four optics each optic deals with eight bits okay so eight bits eight bits eight bits eight bits overall it will go give you 32 bits so you have four octets or you can say four bytes now if we talk about eight bits in each octet it means the maximum number it will cover is like two raised to eight and two raised to eight is 256 right so the number starts with zero and it will end at 255 it means the minimum number you can have is zero 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 and the maximum ip address you can have is 255.255.255.255 which means this is your the least IP the smallest IP you can give is 0000, 0, 0, 0 and the biggest IP you can give is 255.255.255.255 now see uh, if you talk about all this addressing you might be knowing about class full addressing right you have class A you have class B you have class C you have class D you have class E now all these numbers deals with some IPs right deals with some classes so uh, every class has different IP. So uh, it's all depend upon the first byte or first octet. If your first octet is, you know, it, if, if it falls between 0 to 126, you can say it's a class A. 128 to 191, it's class B and list goes on. Now we have to focus on C class also. It's 192 to 223 if I'm not wrong. So this is your this is your classes so class a class b and class c right 
Now, if you talk about class A, you might be thinking where is 127 because I have said 126 and 128. So, where is, class, where is 127? Now, 127 is a loop back. It also falls under A, but it's a loop back address. So, you cannot directly use 127. Okay, we, we don't use 127, right? So, we have, we can use 0 to 126 or 120 to 191 or 192 to 223. It all becomes, it all depends upon the first octet. So, if your first octet is 10, it means it's a class A. If your first octet is 192, it means it's a class C. If your first octet is 182, it is your class B. Okay, so you have class A, B and C. So, depending upon your first octet, you can define your class. Okay, now every class has a default subnet mask. Okay, now this subnet mask for A is 255. Dot zero dot zero dot zero. Default mask for B is two fifty five dot two fifty five dot zero dot zero. For C, it is two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot zero. Now you have to remember all this subnet mask. So depend upon class, you have to define your subnet mask. Okay, this is your mask. So for class A, you have mask two fifty five dot zero dot zero dot zero. For class B. You have 255.255.0.0. For class C, you have 255.255.255.0. Okay. Now, so if I ask you, you have an IP address like 132.15.12.5. So this is your IP. Now tell me what will be your submit mask. So for this, you have to focus on your first IP or first octet. So it's 132, which falls under class B. So your mask will be this one. Now, it means using this mask, you can define your network address. So, this is your IP. You have to define your network address. Now, network address simply means your mask. If your mask, wherever you get 0, 0, those numbers in your IPs will be, will be variable. Right? So, for variable means you can change or you can change 12, you can change 5, but you cannot change these two numbers because this is your network address. This is your host ID. This is your network ID. Okay. Now, so if you have this subnet mask and with this IP address, your net ID is 132.15.0.0. This is your net network address. And this is your IP address, this is your network address, and this is your subnet mask. Okay. So, now if we talk about the static routing, we have, now we understand what is IP, we have IP addressing, we have network ID and we have network mask. Now if we talk about a network, now let's suppose we, have, we, will, de we will deal with the, uh, the video in two parts. The first video is simple network without static routing. So we will be having just a small network. Second video will have this static routing with two, two routers. Okay? So, so you have a router here and we need a machine here. So we have a machine. We have a machine, we have switch, we have switch. So we have to connect this machine to this switch, switch to router, router to switch and switch, um, switch to machine. Now if we talk about this machine, we require some IP. So let's suppose if I, de if I define 192.168.2.5, this is my IP for this machine. And this machine is 192.168.1.6. So this is my IP for this machine, this IP for this machine. Now, if you talk about this network, see router means it will connect two different networks. Okay, so this is your one network, this is your second network. This network, the network address for this network, it will be, see if you, talk, if you focus on this octet, this is class C, right? Now class C deals with a mask which is 255.255.255.0. So if you want to get your network mask, just multiply. You know, with your bits multiplication, you have to just multiply. So 0 into 5, it will be 0. So you will get your network address as 192.168.2.0. Right? Here also you will get your network address as 192.168.1.0. So two, two different networks. 
So if you want to connect this, first you have to configure your machine, then you have to configure the, your router. Because if you connect this wire from switch to router and switch to router, this wire will be your fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. This will be fast Ethernet 0 slash, it will be 1 slash 0. So this connection is 0 slash 0, 1 slash 0. So whenever you work with router, you have to consider, we have to consider, all in general, you have to consider three things. First, you have to connect all your machines, so physical network. You have to connect your, all your machines. Second thing, you have to configure your router. And third thing, if you have two different routers, so you have to go for static routing. So we have only one router, we have to configure it. Now to configure, you have to go to router and you have to configure this and this one. Okay. Now if you talk about 0 slash 0 and 1 slash 0 and question arise how to configure, you have the same thing in your practical. So this is your first part 1 of the video and for part 2, stay tuned.